Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. You may be seated. Vanessa Juarez, please come forward. Good morning. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the 67th of Hopton High School for the 2023 graduating class. It is an honor to be surrounded by so many significant people who have impacted our lives throughout our high school years. Everyone that is present has influenced the graduates to be who they are today. And for this, I would like to show my appreciation. Thank you to everyone here for waking up early and joining us for the ceremony. At this time, I would like to introduce our distinguished guests. Please stand to be recognized when your name is called. Dr. David Gooden, Superintendent of Sampson County Schools. Dr. Wendy Cabral, Assistant Superintendent of Sampson County Schools. Sampson County Schools Board of Education members. Daryl Warren, Eleanor Bradshaw, Sandra Carroll, Glenn Faison, Kim Schmidlin. Sampson County Schools County Office Directors and Staff Members. Thank you. You may be seated. We would like to remind everyone that today's ceremony is a dignified ceremony and ask that everyone hold their congratulatory applause and cheering so that all seniors and family members will receive the same respect. Also, please silence all cell phones. It is now time to recognize the top 10 seniors for the class of 2023. Seniors, please come to the stage to be recognized when your name is called. Families and guests, please again hold your applause until the final name is called in order that each family and student receive the recognition and honor that they deserve. Number 10, Riley Brewington. Number nine, Anna Flowers. Number eight, Danny Souza. <clears throat> Number seven, 
Mariana Sada Romero. Number six, Jenna Pearsall. Number five, Fernanda Garcia. Number four, Emily Taylor. <clears throat> Number three, Vanessa Juarez. Number two, our salutatorian, Lee Danks. Number one, our valedictorian, Josie Blackman. Congratulations to our top 10. <clears throat> we would also like to recognize our school awards that are voted on by the faculty and staff. Please stand when your name is called. Faculty Award, Josie Blackman and Emily Taylor. Most Inspirational Student, Nicholas Mailhot. Citizenship Award, Bobby Dial and Mariana Sada Romero. Most Improved Student, Johanna Campbell. School Service Award, Fernanda Garcia and Danny Souza. and Champions Award, Evelyn Gutierrez. Traditionally, our top two seniors speak, speakers choose their teacher to introduce them. T today's speakers have chosen Ms. Carol King and Ms. Reagan Pearson. Ms. King, please come to the stage. It is a tremendous honor to introduce our first speaker, and I do so with a great amount of pride and gratitude. I not only want to share with everyone what a remarkable young man he is, but I also want to take this opportunity to thank him. I am deeply grateful for having had the opportunity to get to know this student, as he has had a profound impact on me as a teacher. It is a rarity to encounter a student who forces you to think more deeply about your teaching practices and inspires you to become a more effective educator. This young man's presence in my classroom has forever transformed me into a better version of myself. And for that, I will forever be thankful. Stephen Hawking once said, quiet people have the loudest minds. And I feel this student embodies the meaning of this quote. He is gifted with a natural intelligence that far surpasses the norm and is worthy of singing praise, yet he never loses his quiet humbleness. While some people may draw attention to themselves with loud personalities or flashy accomplishments, this young man has quietly distinguished himself through consistent hard work and insightful contributions. As he walks across the stage today, I know his journey is just beginning 
and whatever path he chooses to take in life will be filled with the greatest of successes. It is my pleasure to introduce the class of 2023 salutatorian, Christian Lee Danks. Members of administration, faculty, staff, families, guests, and fellow graduates. As we celebrate graduation today, I look back on my past with all of you. My thoughts go back to third grade when we were named the class of 2023. At the time, it seemed so far away. We cannot imagine that day coming, but here we are. Now we are conditioned to look to the future. Though today is a celebration of our past together and the work that we have put in to get here, I can't help but think about what the future holds for all of us. As we each begin our new journeys, I encourage you to make your own path. In the words of Albert Einstein, the person who follows the crowd will usually go no further than the crowd. The person who walks alone is likely to find himself in places no one has ever been before. Don't be scared to walk alone. Be willing to take the risk and walk the road less traveled. There is a path that is right for each of us. We each have our own role to play in making society great. That role maybe is a nurse caring for patients, a mechanic keeping cars in safe working condition, a farmer providing food, or a teacher educating the future generation. As we prepare for these new roles, there will be success and failure, ups and downs, and times we question the path we have taken. If you were at first unsuccessful, that is okay. Failure is a step in the process of success. Failure only makes success feel more meaningful. As you walk this new path, it is important to think independently and be self-confident. You are in control of your own happiness. As Mahatma Gandhi puts it, happiness is when what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony. Through this interpretation, it becomes clear happiness can only be found through acceptance of oneself. When you are being influenced by others, you are not acting and thinking independently. To find true happiness, you must overcome these barriers and be yourself. In the words of Henry Nowen, each day holds a surprise, but only if we expect it can we see, hear, or feel it when it comes to us. Let's not be afraid to receive each day's surprise, whether it comes to us as sorrow or as joy. It will open a new place in our hearts, a place where we can welcome new friends and celebrate more fully our shared humanity. It is important to appreciate the present because in the future we may reminisce on these times as the good old days, but today we do not know or appreciate it. To quote Omar Kiyam, be happy for this moment. This moment is your life. On behalf of the class of 2023, I would like to thank everyone that has given us unconditional love and support. I would like to give a special thank you to two teachers that have helped to shape my final years at Hopton. Firstly, to Ms. Jackson for enabling me to explore and develop an appreciation for art, and to Ms. King for being approachable and connecting with her students. In closing, I will leave you with wisdom from Dr. Seuss. Be who you are and say what you feel because those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind. Best of luck 2023 Wildcats. When asked to give the introduction for our next speaker, I found myself faced with the most difficult task I have come across in almost two decades of teaching. How do you adequately describe a student who does not fit into a specific box? A student who beats to her own drum and who isn't just smart, outgoing, or nice to everyone. Someone who on top of those things is a self-motivated learner an innovative thinker, a student who is unafraid to try hard things, pursues a variety of interests and hobbies, and though at times has questionable taste in music, is just plain funny. President Calvin Coolidge once said, nothing in this world can take place of persistence. Talent will not, nothing is more common 
than unsuccessful men with talent. Genius will not. Unrewarded genius is almost a proverb. Education will not. The world is full of educated derelicts. Persistence and determination alone are omnipotent. Josie Blackman possesses all of those qualities. She has talent and genius in spades, but what has made her successful is her persistence and determination to try hard things, to follow a path she may travel alone, and to not quit or be deterred when the going gets tough. In the fall of 2020, I had the privilege of teaching Josie for the first time. She and 10 other brave souls were enrolled in my first block AP US class. We were all adjusting to online learning, the real kind where the teacher makes you log on to the live and actually turn on your camera, where you have to respond and participate with more than just typing an answer in a chat box. I remember being so impressed with Josie. She would log in every morning at 8 a.m. and would always speak up when I asked questions or would try to get the group to participate in breakout rooms. She even logged into live class while on vacation with her family. And last year, she thrived as one of the upperclassmen in the group and helped set the example for how to have open discussions about contemporary social and political issues. She demonstrated how to express her personal views on topics such as free speech and still openly entertain opinions that did not match her own. She even showed the capacity to accept defeat as she failed to convince me of the greatness of Taylor Swift and Olivia Rodrigo. In class, she has proven herself to be a hard worker, one who is always her toughest critic, but also the most willing to make corrections or ask for help. Personality dictates that people are either leaders or followers. Josie has demonstrated the capacity for leadership, whether it's on the marching field, serving as camp counselor, or with the tutoring program she created. But at the same time, she knows how to contribute as a player on the team, whether it is on the soccer field, cross country course, or a club within the school. She's always willing to do her part. One of my favorite all time musicians, the King himself, Elvis Presley said, it's not how much you have that makes people look up to you, it's who you are. For a young woman who has accomplished so much in a short time, one would expect her to revel in her success or be boastful, but perhaps her most endearing quality of all is how humble Josie truly is, which is why so many look up to her. President Dwight Eisenhower once said, accomplishment is a journey, not a destination. Josie, I know that I not only speak for myself, but the entire faculty at Hopton High School when I say thank you for letting us tag along on this part of your journey. It is with a great honor that I introduce to you the Hopton High School Class of 2023 Valedictorian Josie Blackman. administration, staff, and guests, I would like to thank you all for being here on this special day. To my fellow graduates, congratulations. Despite the late nights spent completing last minute homework assignments, the early mornings dragging ourselves to school, and the countless hours spent in classrooms taking notes, we made it. When I was told I would be giving this speech, I was at a complete loss regarding what I should talk about. As I tried to think of something that could, could complete the impossible task of summarizing our entire four years at Hopton, I was reminded of a car ride home with my mom when a song, Life's a Dance by John Michael Montgomery, came on the radio. My mom turned it up and told me, this song has a lot of truth to it and you should listen to the lyrics. I didn't think much of it then, but now as I'm reflecting on our four years, I think it does hold a lot of truth. Life's a dance, you learn as you go. When we walked into Hopton four short years ago, none of us could have anticipated what was to come. I know that when I came back to school junior year, I thought things would never quite be the same. 
However, our class and our staff work hard to keep traditions alive and bring back a sense of normalcy. Not only did we work hard to have a great spirit week junior and senior year, but we brought back powder puff for the first time since our freshman year, and the seniors won. We got to decorate our parking spots with chalk, we went to White Lake for our senior trip, and that's when I knew we were a good class because everyone jumped in that freezing cold lake instead of complaining. I think this really represents our perseverance as a class. Even though it wasn't what we originally imagined, we had a good time because we were just happy to not be in class. You might have to crawl even after you walk. Last soccer season, our team was on a roll. We were undefeated for weeks, and I thought we were on track to win the conference. However, we lost in a game by one point about 10 games in. This was a tough loss and ultimately led to us coming second in the conference, but it grounded us. We had to go back to the basics and focus on our game. We had to realize that we were gonna be challenged and it wasn't all gonna be a steady rise to success. This year, we came back with a new attitude and beat that same team we lost to three times in a row, winning the conference and the tournament for first time in women's Hopton soccer history. This taught me the valuable lesson that having to backtrack after previously doing well doesn't mean you aren't making progress. Don't worry about what you don't know. Life's a dance you learn as you go. The final line of the chorus completes my final thoughts about our time at Hopton. As we go into our next phases of life, there will be so much that we don't know. However, I know we will figure it out just as we figured this place out, because you have to learn as you go. So soak in this moment now. This may be the last time we're all in one place together. We'll never sit in the student section of a football game again, dressed up in whatever theme, or walk around the halls twice just to talk to our friends a little longer, or sit at one of the only two places to eat in Newton Grove after 7 p.m. after a game. So hold those fond memories close, but remember we have so many more to make. Thank you to the class of 2023 for being the coolest class I could ever ask to be a part of. Congratulations. Good morning, graduates, parents, families, staff, and distinguished guests. We are all excited to celebrate the Hopton High School class of 2023. As always, throughout the year, I ponder what will be the base of my graduation speech. I continue to repeat in my head, class of 2023, class of 23, 23, 23, got it, the 23. I could not let this moment go by without number 23, Michael Jordan. I reached out to him this morning, but unfortunately he was not able to be here due to a prior obligation, so obviously someone thought of that before I did. When we think about Michael Jordan, we think about greatness. However, at one point, no one even knew him. And then all of a sudden, he went from Mike to Michael Jordan. Before he became the Michael Jordan, he was just a kid who liked sports. He did not begin playing competitive basketball until he was in high school. When he was in the ninth grade, he was suspended three times. He loved sports, but his dad told him that if he was going to continue being mischievous, he would not, able, not be able to play sports. His sophomore year, he was cut from the varsity team. This gave him the drive to never be cut again. Although he is known as the GOAT, when it comes to basketball, basketball is not his only sport. He's a multi-sport athlete who loves baseball. He is an avid golfer and is also part of a NASCAR team. He is the wealthiest athlete in the world because of his successes and we see his greatness. But in order to be great, Michael Jordan failed. Michael Jordan stated, I have missed 9,000 shots. I've lost almost 300 ball games. 26 times I have been trusted to take the game winning shot and I missed. I have failed over and over and over and that is why I succeed. We start at a young age understanding the difference between success and failure Every failure or loss always makes the next win a little bit sweeter. 
If a person never fails or has to suffer the agony of defeat, they do not know the value of their success. I don't care how many times that you have failed. You are a valuable individual, and I believe in you. You are capable of so many things that you cannot even imagine at this time. Do not give up on your dreams. Work until they happen. They will not happen just by chance. You have to make them your reality. When you leave here today and enter life after high school to begin adulting, your graduation will become a memory, just a moment in time. But rest assured that I pray you many successes, and I love you all. Congratulations. For your convenience, a, photo a photographer from Strawbridge Studios will be photographing each graduate when they receive their diploma. These portraits will be available for you to view online after graduation. A link and code will be provided to each senior. In addition, Star Communication is recording the ceremony and will air the event at a later date. It will also be shared to YouTube. We will now prepare for the presentation of diplomas. Since this is a special day for all graduates and a distinguished ceremony, we ask that you hold all applause and refrain from any cheering until the last name is called. Deputies will escort those who display disrespect during the presentation out of the stadium. This will ensure that every student's name is properly called and every guest has the opportunity to hear their loved one's name announced. Marshals, please prepare the seniors. Parents, when your child's name is called, please stand. Jeffrey Joel Acosta. Emily Grace Adams. Viajeli Kamani Alexander. London Taylor Alford. Brisada Arenas Reyes. Jalen Mack Atkinson. Julian Avales Jr. Elizabeth Joanna Ayala. Yesi Barahona Escobar. Josephine Helen Blackman. Joshua David Blanco. Jeffrey Robert Bonilla. Jaslyn Grace Braun. Riley Scott Brewington. Tamaya Nicole Brown. Sierra Janae Bryant.
Johanna Rady Campbell. Carrie Elise Cavanaugh. Jaquan Jaden Chancy. Elijah Jairden William Jeshua Craddock. Christian Lee Banks. Bennett Wade Darden. Bobby McCall Dial Jr. Priscilla Escalera. Christopher Adalid Escobar. Valerie Espinosa Gomez. Mariah Lena Esquivel. Christina Denise Faison. Shania Larkel Fennell. Anna Grace Flowers. Fernanda Lolibeth Garcia. Shanti Denesi Garcia. Emma Lee Gautier. Brandy Michelle George. Christian Gil Leon. Ronnie Shane Graham. Carlos Granados. Evelyn Daniela Gutierrez Gonzalez. Kenneth Adam Hamrick. Jacob Alexander Hemingway. Gladys Gabriela Hernandez Mendez. Monica Hernandez Baena. Nicole Hernandez Baena. Alan Yair Herrera Sanchez. Payne Allen Herring. Cameron Wade Hope. Harrison Lee Hunt. Gracie Elaine Jones. J. 
Jamik Savion Jorner. Vanessa Nicole Juarez. Chase Allen Kennedy. Brody Shelton King. Aaron Chase Long. Nicholas Lane Melhot. Katie Brooke Martin. Janasia Donna McAllister. Nakia Lucky McDougall. In trail, Rayan Dwayne McCoy. Torin Elijah Ross Melvin. Amber Ramon Mendo. Cody Bryant Mercer. Pablo Alberto Molina Aguilar. Castillo Montez Oliva. Jerica Jalisa New. Imani Serena Danielle Newsom. Zariah Chevelle Danielle Parker. Chase Monroe Pate. Talia Emil Peacock. Jenna Marissa Pearsall. Marco Jose Perez. Luis Fernando Perez Tristan. Morgan Hope Peterson. Davion Isaiah Park Pickford. Nadia Hiromi Pineda Aldis. Jasmine Ramos. Chelsea Brianna Ramsey. Marin Asusina Rangel. Jocelyn Reyes. Cameron Alexander Robinson. Jennifer Rodriguez Paez. Josue Rodriguez. Juan Francisco Rodriguez Valtiara. Laylee Raquel Rojas Viatoro. 
Griselda Romero Franco. Christian Jeremiah Royal. Mariana Sada Romero. Dulce Cristal Santiago Garcia. Graby Alondra Santos Lopez. Jeremoth Joel Santos Soriano. Abigail Rose Simmons. Danny Martin Sosa. Grayson Carlton Tart. Emily Caitlin T Taylor. Philip Bailey Taylor. Shelby Jade Thomas. Jazlyn May Thompson. Aaron Natalia Troublefield. Luis Manuel Villagamez Subias. Denia Andrea Walker. Colby Jordan Weeks. Dylan Antonio Wilson. Graduates, at this time, will you please stand? By the power and authority vested in me by the state of North Carolina and the Sampson County Board of Education, I declare that all members of the class of 2023 who have fulfilled their academic, attendance, and other requirements are hereby graduates of Hopton High School. You may turn your tassel. Mariana Sada Romero, our SGA president, will now come to the stage for our benediction. <clears throat> As we come to a close, let us pray over the graduates. Almighty God, thank you for the wonderful time we have had learning and studying here. May each one of us find ways to cherish the memories we have made and look forward with courage in our hearts to the new challenges ahead. Lord, please guide us our footsteps. Come lead us in our new areas of study and the new work opportunities that lie ahead of us. Father, please fill our minds with vision. As we begin new adventures, may each graduate be blessed with friendship, support, and love. Thank you, Lord, for the privilege of studying here. Please bless us now as we celebrate and mark this special day. Amen.
Thank you.